Good morning! This is the Agribusiness Report. I'm David Geiger. Making a new variety of soybeans is hard. It takes millions of dollars and multiple years to get one to market. But at DuPont Pioneer, technology is making that more efficient. I headed over to the Global Marker Technologies Lab at their headquarters, where genetic information is extracted from plants. A mechanical arm whirs in this Johnston lab, and it helps soybean breeder Jesse Alt have better material. It all starts with making a cross, a cross between two parents. And then from those two parents, we eventually get, we call them all these progeny, all these sisters, right? And each one of them in their own right can be a soybean variety. But I can't advance thousands of soybean varieties every year. They're not going to meet the customer needs. So what I do between those thousands is we punch them into a plate like this. And then we get genetic information back and I could say which ones have the traits of interest that our growers need. Say for southeast Iowa that they have sudden death resistance and maybe some brown stem rot resistance. I can say this sister does, this one does not. Alt takes the data analyzed here and decides which plants grown will move on to the next generation. She can ask for a handful of chromosomes or just about every piece of genetic information from the soybean. They do that by taking samples from young beans. We put um, a leaf punch, we take it out of our soybeans with this. And you go like that, the leaf tissue comes out the bottom. We put it in tubes and put them in their spots in the plate. And so everything's tracked. Every time the arm moves, it's moving 92 pieces of DNA. Pretty handy considering there's 15 other soybean breeding programs requesting data, as well as other breeding projects Pioneer works on. The lab can receive leaf tissue from my breeding program and they can turn genetic information back to me in just a few weeks. That lets Alt plan out which plants she's going to keep before harvest, eliminating a trial and error process. I cannot overstate how important this is to the breeding process, being able to get the genetic information early in the system. Now Alt told me it used to take 11 years to get a variety to market. Now it takes around seven, mainly because their operations across the U.S. run year-round. 